Imagine standing in front of an ATM. You press a few buttons, wait a second, and out comes crisp cash. One bill at a time, perfectly aligned. But have you ever wondered how the machine knows exactly how many bills to dispense and how it does it so fast without jamming or slipping? Behind that smooth transaction is a clever little mechanism, rollers. These small components are the unsung heroes that keep your money moving. Without them, ATMs would be slow, unreliable, or worse, completely chaotic. Today, we're opening up the inside of a cash dispenser to find out why rollers matter, how they work, and what makes them so important to modern banking. Right here on History of Simple Things. On the outside, ATMs look simple, but open one up and it's a different story. Inside, there's an intricate network of trays, sensors, motors, and rollers working together to store, verify, and deliver cash. At the heart of that process is the cash dispensing mechanism, the part that physically moves paper money from storage to the slot where you grab it. And that movement? It's all about rollers. These are small cylindrical components, often made of rubber or synthetic materials, arranged in pairs or sets. When the machine needs to move a bill, two rollers spin in opposite directions and gently grip the edge of a note, pulling it forward without tearing or folding it. You might be wondering, why rollers? Why not just use arms, pushers, or something mechanical? Well, it comes down to control and consistency. Rollers provide a precise grip on each note. They apply just enough pressure to move a bill without damaging it. Unlike robotic arms or belts, rollers are high speed, energy efficient, and surprisingly gentle, essential qualities when handling paper of varying quality and condition. Additionally, rollers can separate a single bill from a stack, a feature that many other systems struggle with. Imagine trying to separate a single piece of paper from a sticky pile. Now multiply that by hundreds of transactions per day. Rollers handle it better than almost anything else. It all starts with the pickup roller. This is the first roller in the chain, responsible for pulling the top bill from a stack. The stack sits in a cassette, and when the ATM is told to dispense cash, the pickup roller rotates and uses friction to lift the first note upward. But here's the challenge. Currency isn't always perfect. Some notes are crumpled, damp, or cling to each other. To avoid double feeding, ATMs often use separation rollers immediately after the pickup. These rollers spin in the opposite direction to the pickup roller and apply just enough force to catch any extra notes trying to come along for the ride. If more than one bill is detected, the machine can reject the feed and try again. Accuracy is everything in a cash dispenser. If the ATM gives out an extra bill, even once, it causes a loss for the bank and a potential headache for everyone. So, along with rollers, there are optical sensors and thickness detectors placed along the path of the moving cash. These sensors check whether the bill is folded, overlapped, counterfeit, or incorrect in denomination. Rollers work hand-in-hand -hand with these sensors to gently guide the note past each checkpoint. If something's off, like two bills stuck together or a torn corner, the machine stops and reroutes the faulty cash to a reject bin or instructs the user to try again. One of the most important things rollers provide is smooth, uninterrupted motion. Currency, by nature, is fragile. If you use jerky movements or sudden pushes, the bills can jam or get damaged and a jammed ATM? That's bad news for users and banks alike. Rollers provide the steady, continuous traction needed to feed each bill through multiple steps, sometimes across five to six rollers before it ever reaches your hand. They're also great for different currencies and sizes. Whether you're dealing with small notes like Japanese yen or larger ones like the Euro, rollers adapt without needing to be completely re-engineered. You might be thinking, if these rollers are used constantly, don't they wear out? Absolutely, but they're designed with that in mind. 
ATM rollers are made from durable materials that resist flattening, cracking, or losing friction over time. Still, they do wear down and need regular maintenance. Technicians often replace rollers during scheduled servicing, much like changing tires on a car, because when a roller becomes too smooth, it can start slipping instead of gripping, and that's when jams and errors start to occur. Some newer ATM models are even designed with self-cleaning rollers, using wipers or rotating brushes to remove dust, ink buildup, or moisture from banknotes. In a busy location, an ATM may process thousands of bills in a single day. That means the cash must move fast but securely. You don't want bills flying out or falling into the wrong tray. Rollers allow ATMs to operate with impressive speed, dispensing multiple bills per second while keeping full control of each note. As the final roller set delivers the cash to the user, a sensor confirms the correct number of bills passed through. If there's a mismatch, the machine halts the transaction and either corrects it or issues a refund. This combination of speed, precision, and feedback is why rollers remain unmatched for cash dispensing. Even as ATMs evolve, adding touchscreen interfaces, contactless withdrawals, or biometric scans, the roller mechanism has remained largely unchanged. It's a rare case where the simplest solution is still the best. Some concepts in banking technology have come and gone, but rollers continue to dominate cash movement because they're reliable, compact, and easy to maintain. Some newer machines even use modular roller assemblies, allowing banks to upgrade or replace only the worn-out segments instead of the entire dispenser unit. Can ATMs work without rollers? Technically, yes, but not very well. There are experimental designs using suction or magnetic feeders, but none have matched the consistency and versatility of rollers. And while digital payments are becoming more common, cash still matters, especially in rural areas or during power or network outages. So ATMs and their roller systems will likely be with us for years to come. Interestingly, the roller technology used in ATMs isn't exclusive to cash. Similar systems are used in printers, ticket machines, conveyor belts, and even mail sorters. Anywhere precision handling of thin, flat materials is needed, rollers are usually involved. It's one of those simple engineering solutions that has found a home in dozens of industries, not because it's flashy, but because it just works. So why do ATM cash dispensers use rollers? Rollers strike the perfect balance between control, speed, reliability, and gentleness. They grip without tearing, separate without jamming, and work smoothly across all kinds of currencies and conditions. Every time you hear the quiet whirring of a machine dispensing your cash, it's those little rollers doing their job, quietly and efficiently, so you don't have to think about what's going on behind the screen. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.